Hello friends, welcome to Solid Edge Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Solid Edge basic commands. For that, we will create one 3D model of this part. So let's start new isometric part. This is the synchronous environment, and we are learning in ordered mode. For that, right click on synchronous and take a last option transition to order. Now this is the ordered mode of Solid, solid Edge. This is the sketch of this 3D model. So this is the front view, this is the top view, and this one is section view at BB, and this one is auxiliary view at A. So we will start with this section. The distance from this axis is 20 mm, and length of line is 30, and this inclined line is 40 mm degree angle from this vertical axis. And this one is 70 mm and thickness of this offset is 2 mm. So let's start to make a sketch. Select front view. Sketch. Select front plane. And I make a sketch here. So line. Dimension it smart dimension this one is 30 and from this point to this point is 70 this one is 70 angle is 40 degree so angular dimension for this inclined line is 40 degree distance from vertical axis to this line is 20 mm so smart dimension distance from z axis is 20 now total vertical distance is 75 from top to bottom so give this distance as 75 mm and this horizontal line and x axis is collinear so take a collinear select this horizontal line and x axis Offset distance is 2 mm. So take offset command, select this line, select your option chain, enter the offset distance as 2 mm and select the direction. So we have 2 mm offset. Now close this sketch line, first point and second point, then to the bottom side as well. Line first point and second point so to create this round shape we will use a revolve command for that we need to create one axis of revolution here in this sketch for that we will make us on simple line this one and dimension it now this sketch is fully defined close sketch Finish, cancel. Take a revolve command. Select here option. Select from sketch. Select sketch. Click OK. And define axis of revolution. And the revolve angle is revolve by 360. So this is the first command we have used here revolve. So I will hide the sketch one and now second command we are going to use here is extrude cut for that we will create this one sketch of 15 mm diameter radius which is 15 mm from this point and the slit of 3 mm width which is through so we will create this sketch for that we need to add one tangent plane for that take a tangent plane planes tangent select this inclined face and enter angle at zero so this one tangent plane is added here click on extrude cut select this tangent plane now we need to select here coincident plane and select the tangent plane so this is the circle of uh, 
15 mm diameter and 15 mm from this point so take circle by center point which is in line with this origin of the part and dimension it with 15 mm diameter now we need to create one point here to give distance so take a point create one point on this circumference and dimension it from this point now choose here by two points dimension by two points and this is the second point so first point was center of the circle and this dimension is 15 mm so we need to create two lines here for the slit line and distance of the width of the slit is 3 mm so this is 3 now we will use here symmetric command for that take a symmetric command symmetric select symmetric axis and entities to symmetry so these two lines now this is symmetric to this z axis so we need to trim this axis circles and lines trim trim this axis line and dimension it from the origin so this is vertical horizontal 1.5 and give dimension for this line as well this is approx 50 so this cage is fully defined close cage and select here option symmetric extent cut so we have cut out to the both the sides finish cancel so this one is the cutout one we have used second command as cutout now third one is the rib of 3 mm width and 10 mm from the bottom length of this rib is not defined so we will consider one length and make this rib so third command will be rib so we need to add one plane we can see here these cutouts are at 120 degree each from this horizontal and this rib is middle of these two that means it will be 60 degree from this horizontal so we will add one angle plane or at the 60 degree so planes take an angle so this basic reference planes and first plane is this second is this and enter the angle as 60 and click ok now hide this basic reference plane now this is the new added plane at 60 degree from this front and right plane so we will make one sketch on this plane 5 sketch plane 5 and make one line from this point to this and give distance from bottom as 10 mm this will be 10 close cage finish and cancel now hide this plane so click on a rib command rib select here option select from sketch and select the sketch click ok now select the direction and enter thickness here so direction is this side so this is the rib of 3 mm thickness finish cancel i will hide this cage and this plane so we have this cutout and a rib here so we will make pattern of this cutout and rib so next command is pattern for that select the features which we want to pattern that means cut out and rib click on pattern select the face or plane this will be circular pattern so this option is circular pattern here one other option is rect rectangular pattern but we need circular so click on circular pattern 
and enter here count so our count will be three so this is good close sketch select the direction and close sketch finish cancel so we have this model three ribs and three cutouts so control i for the isometry hope you have enjoyed this video in this video we have used curveball textured cut rib and pattern as well as how to add planes so thank you for watching like share and subscribe for more videos thank you